problem from start to finish until, I mean, I, I had it, but I didn't have like the fi final mix, the master version ever, until we ended up in New York and we did this big listening party, us and the label and some friends. And um, that was like the first time that I really took it all in, start to finish. I know the guys listened to it before, before that, but um, it was really emotional. It was, it was cool. And it was really cool to listen for the first time with a bunch of other people who were listening for the first time. It felt like, no, it just felt like a long time coming and we, all the work and all the kind of hard times and good times it all meant something in that moment, you know? Yes. <laughs> now we can say we've done that. That's the only time I've ever done that. Yeah, I mean, I've answered that question. People can Google it, but pass. <laughs> Am I a style icon? I don't feel like one. Um, that's really cool. I mean, I guess it's it's cool in the sense that when I was growing up and it was like, you know, the mid-90s, late 90s, there were a lot of really cool girls, um, you know, trying things like, you know, in fashion. And there, you know, it, it, everything, even like the Spice Girls, you know, just those, there were like these images of powerful women everywhere. To me, it's like just this personal thing. It's all about expressing who I am as an individual. And then when I see people kind of taking that on and really embracing that for themselves and doing it their own way, I mean, that's that's like really cool. You know, was, sometimes I got made fun of my clothes and, and you know, and I, and I think that's kind of normal when you're in school that happens, especially if you're not wearing the exact same thing as everyone else. But um, I think it's rad. But what I like more is when I see our fans come to meet and greet our shows and they're wearing something that I've never tried. Like, you know, this one girl had Paramore written across her eyelids in the day of the signing and it actually looked so cool that I'm like, I don't know that I'll write Paramore, but I'm probably going to do something like that. So I'm, in, I'm actually inspired by a lot of our fans that are trying things on their own for the first time. Yeah, food is it. We're never 10 feet away from something good to eat. Yeah. Um, there's banana right there. <laughs> just, just to prove it to you. Um, I don't know, we, we like, like, when we're on tour, I feel like we always like to watch movies in the forest. We always like, um, like use that as sort of, that's our like show time. And we go out to dinners with our crew and we bring out on tour with us. I don't know. I kind of feel like we don't really have a lot of time to fully throw ourselves into any other obsession besides the music, but I mean, we, we gotta eat, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Oh, uh, when our record leaked. <laughs> yeah. Our record leaked for like three days before the label told us it was gonna leak. Yeah. <laughs> three days before the leak day. <laughs> yeah. It leaked and, and we were like, this really sucks. And then about 12 hours later, we're like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do, you know? I feel like as long as you're like, happy doing what you want to do, it's really hard to think about other things you want yeah. to do. <laughs> he would go and like down that trail of life and be like, I wish I was back there playing yeah. music still. <laughs> we have a pretty good job, man, so we definitely.